Hello, my name is uh, Derek Morrison. I'm a sales manager with Toshiba Canada. Tonight I talked about how we can scan paper documents via this uh, latest Toshiba model, 2024 model copier to either a, a, a folder, either in your network or in the cloud. So I'm gonna share a screen and we'll start right away. So what we're looking at now is the uh, web browser of the copier. You get there by simply uh, typing in the IP address of the copier. And this brings us to the home page of the copier called Top Access. And you know, what you see, this is a Toshiba 2528, which is a very current copier with Toshiba with the very latest version 1801 firmware. So, but the topic of today is how do we scan to a network folder? Um, so what we have to do is on this left side of this uh, LCD panel, we need to go to administration uh, under setup. We need to go to save as file. That gives us this screen here, which we can save a bunch of choices. Uh, if you go to the storage path, uh, the first one here will go to the solid state driver, the copier, and notice file share. We want it to go directly to a network path. Sorry, the second one here. Uh, we don't need them to delete. I want to go to a network folder. I'm going to use just a local folder. Um, and um, I like to simplify the time date format. And um, so uh, right here is the network path to the folder that I want to scan to. And we'll look at that in a moment. Uh, the username and the password. Uh, if I press execute, the copy should be able to connect to that folder, uh, which it has. Um, there's some other things I can do, such as scan to a different folder location or network fax donations and all that kind of stuff. But that's good enough for us. And we're just going to press save and OK. Our flat here now is the um, my Windows 11 computer. The, we want to scan to a, um, uh, a folder on the C drive called uh, LexScan. Uh, here it is right here. If we right click the folder and click on properties, we can see this is the uh, LexScan folder. And if I click on sharing, this is that path that I had to type in or copy and paste into the um, uh, top access uh, save as file. So uh, we wanna make sure this folder is shared and we wanna make sure that the um, the uh, users uh, who you want to scan in that folder have a full read-write control. So there's that folder shared. Also on the security tab, uh, you wanna make sure that everyone who you wanna scan to has full control of the um, folder as well. And back in top access, save as file, this is where we, we typed in that LexScan path. But now we need to find out where to how to, where to get a login username. And to do that, I'm gonna share a different screen. We have to go to a control panel and user accounts. And uh, right here, uh, this TTCS DOM slash Z50556 is my username. You need to write that down and paste it back into Top Access. So right there is where I type in that username. And of course, we need to know the uh, username and password, sorry, the password of the uh, of this user to type in the proper passwords. And we have to press execute. It will, it'll save it properly. Uh, to be able to scan to a network folder, you have to make sure that um, file sharing is turned on. So <laughs> under control panel, you go to network and internet, uh, network sharing center, and uh, change advanced sharing settings. But under private networks, we have to make sure that network discovery and File and printing sharing is turned on. Uh, under public networks, uh, file and printer sharing is turned on. Under domain networks, uh, file and printing sharing is turned on. And all networks, you want to make sure that public folder sharing is turned on.
<clears throat> so now that we've created, completed the task of uh, configuring Save as File, we need to go to this tab here called Registration and Public Home. Uh, the copier's LCD panel behind me is rented by, represented by tiles on the panel. And in this case, I have eight tiles. Um, I can have many different LCD pages, but there's eight tiles on a page because they're the largest icon that, that I'd like. Um, but so what I want to see is if I click on this empty tile here, I have two choices. I can create a template or I can create a folder. So that's what I've done right here. Um, this one here called Scan Alex Scan uh, is a um, template that completes a single task. And this one here called Lex Scan Departments. I have multiple of those templates in there, such as Scan the Sales, Administration, or Service. Uh, it's easy to edit these tiles and move them around from uh, templates to folders. But let's look at this one here in detail called uh, Scan to Lexcan. So when you first create a template, you're going to have to make this choice to select an agent. I want to select Scan and Save as File. So first off, I want you to note that you can change the icon here if you want to, to a different one. Um, and I like to uh, send an email when an error occurs if the scan didn't go for some reason. And right here under Save as File Settings is where we uh, I can scan in multiple file formats, quite a few, and I can enable OCR if I want to. Um, I don't need to do uh, encryption or digital signatures at this time, but this is where I want to see how, again, I configured that folder we, we just saw earlier called Lexscan with my that username we found <laughs> and the password we gave. And I like to disable this one here, use local folder, because that essentially goes to the solid safe drive of the copier. So once that is all it, it configured the way you want, I can save that. And I want to go down just a little bit further to take a note of what are called scan settings. This is how we can create the, um, tell that template how to scan a document with quite a bit of control and detail. Um, I just want you to notice this one here at the bottom about how we can use, again, OCR. And also this one here called multiple annotations, where we can add additional information to the scans, um, sometimes referred to as bait stamping in law firms, um, and uh, to give you a better idea where that scan came from. So close that. And that is, so now I'm going to share a different screen. Is the LCD panel of the photocopier vir via a virtual network connection uh, to my computer. If I scan over to um, the third uh, page, I can see I have two icons here. One is for Alex scan departments, and that's a folder that contains three separate um, templates. This one here, scan Alex scan, is a template. If I click on this, and I maybe want to uh, give it a name. We'll call it uh, test123. Say OK. <laughs> and I'm going to turn on preview. And I can do a bunch of stuff with scanning if I want to, such as color and rotation and all kinds of stuff. But uh, I just want to press scan. Uh, the document's being scanned now. There's an image of it. I'm going to say that's okay. And it's now, I'm going to go to, job, the OCR is running. I'm going to go to job status, uh, click on scan, and that scan is already gone. I'm going to click on logs and scan. And I can see that that one there called test one, two, three went okay. So here we are back in my C drive. If I go to that full called LexScan, uh, I can see that there's that document I created called test one, two, three. Open it up. It's just a PDF. 
So this is a copy of that PDF and it is searchable. So if I just click on here and type in a word like uh, plugin, it'll find it right away. Searchable PDF, a very useful feature. Uh, as you can see, this is my contact information. Any questions, I'd be happy to help. The uh, latest Toshiba eBridge Next copiers uh, make it very easy for users to scan into uh, network folders of their choice uh, on their local computer or even in a web cloud location. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next one. Uh, thank you. Bye.